Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode and welcome my friends to a very late night video. So it is currently 5.30am inside of the UK, I'm a weirdo, I'm still awake, I've been spending the last 4 or 5 hours dedicating my time, which I should really be sleeping, to actually maxing out, well almost maxing out that Dark Elixir storage. Check it out guys, 191,637 Dark Elixir, and uh, you're not going to believe this, but the Barbarian King costs 191,000 to upgrade, so that means we can do some upgrades in this video. Barbarian King is going to go from level 42, obviously, to at least level 43, but what we're actually going to do, we're going to go ahead into the shop in a second, and we're going to buy ourselves $99.99 .99 worth of gems. So we are doing a trophy push guys, we are heading to at least, hopefully fingers crossed, 5,500 trophies. Our all time best currently 5,402. Now just before we do get ourselves into the action in this episode, upgrading the Barbarian King, gemming the Barbarian King and doing some live trophy pushing, I would just like to say there are two giveaways going on the channel. First one is a $100 giveaway, which was actually for the uh, the video uploaded two days ago. Now I'm going to be giving away $100 to my subscribers live on Saturday, so that's going to be this Saturday. And then we're also doing a $250, 1.3 million subscriber giveaway. If you want the chance to win $250. All you need to do, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. That is it guys, good luck to every single person who does that. So we actually just upgraded that wall there, but I completely forgot to record it. But as I said guys, as soon as we hit 1.3 million subs, we're going to give away that $250. But check this out, we're actually going to buy ourselves some, uh, some gems. Now I've actually done a deal with Cash Wrap, so I haven't actually been sponsored in about... It's been about five or six months since I've actually had a sponsored episode on the channel, guys. But because I am trophy pushing, I do need gems, and kindly, Cash Wraps has decided to sponsor me with a couple of hundred dollars worth of gems. So we just received 14,000 gems, and as I was saying, guys, if you do want to get yourself some free gems, there is a link down below in the description box. It's going to take you over to a site called Cash Wraps, and you can actually download some apps and get yourself some free gems. Now, the actual code down below has been changed, and it now gets you some extra points more than before. So if you want to do that, feel free to do so. There are plenty of apps inside of the store. So 14,000 gems has been received. And uh, let's see how long this actually lasts. So the current date is Tuesday the 7th, I think, of February 2017. We've got 14,017 gems. Hopefully they last at least, I don't know, two or three weeks before we need to buy more. But when you trophy push, especially me, I definitely eat these gems up pretty fast. And we're actually about to spend and, you know, upgrade the Barbarian King right now. So let's just get a screenshot of those gems just in case I want to use it for a thumbnail. And then we're good to go. So I also want to get the Dark Elixir in there because it looks nice. And I want to get that little, uh, that little fire bit in there as well. Let's just move that arrow down. There we go. That should be a cool looking thumbnail. A little bit of fire above the, uh, the gems. And here we go. So 14,000 gems. First off, let's actually reduce that because we're going to boost all of the heroes, the spell factories, and of course, the, uh, the barracks, guys. And uh, hopefully, well, I was just going to say hopefully we can upgrade the Barbarian King, but we actually can, so let's do this. Upgrading the Barbarian King, 191,000 Dark Elixir, and he's going to go to level 43. Let's do this. Here we go, level 43 Barbarian King, guys. Of course, I didn't actually buy any Dark Elixir, I farmed every single penny of that, but I don't want to wait seven days for a Barbarian King because I'm inside of a live war. I've actually already three-starred number two, and uh, we're going to go in for an attack on number one in the second episode coming out in a couple of hours, so stay tuned for that, guys. But let's test out this level 43 Barbarian King and make our way close as possible to 5,000 trophies. So check this out, we've just landed on this Town Hall level 11, 10 trophies, a decent amount of Dark Elixir, and I'm actually going to attack it because I do want a bit more Dark Elixir, because I don't really want to use this air army anymore, it's a little bit boring, it's a little bit stale, and I want to have some fun in the game, so let's do this guys. Let's actually take out that bomb tower and that archer tower just using these balloons, that's going to allow me to, you know, get my heroes in there and do a bit more damage than I initially wanted to, so two wall breakers going to go there. And now we can send in these giants like that. There goes the king, the queen. Wizard's gonna go in like that. And there go the um, 
three wall breakers. We're going to use a rage spell. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Let's actually see the damage we can do to this base. Now, obviously, guys, over the next week or so, we're going to slowly push into the Titans League, and that means the amount of trophies and bases we're going to be finding is going to be heavily reduced. So we are going to do a lot more videos on a variety of different topics on the channel. There is obviously going to be an update coming out into the game shortly as well. I'm guessing Supercell said that there would be one, hopefully, by either the end of February or, you know, the start of March, guys. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for all update content. Let's do this. So where's that second air sweeper? There it is. Okay, air sweeper has been located. So I'm going to try and swing in on this town hall to see if we can actually take it out. But before we do, let's take out this air defense because it's looking nice and open on the outside of the base. Let's also take that bomb tower because I hate bomb towers. Here we go, guys. Two balloons going to go on in each on the cannon as well. Oh, we're going to get that second cannon. Yes, and we're also maybe going to grab this archer tower. Yes, we are. Go minions. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So here we go, guys. We can now go in for a full sweep on the um, the core of the base. Let's do this. There goes the Grand Warden. The Grand Warden, which we all love. And there go the two haste spells. Here goes the Grand Warden's ability. There goes a clone spell just ahead of the balloons, and now there goes a rage spell right into the center of the base. Let's see if we can take this Eagle Artillery down, and hopefully follow on to the at least the multi-target Inferno Tower. Yep, that's going to go down. If you want to target the single target as well, if possible, please, balloons. That would be awesome. Balloons? Yep, they're going to do it, guys. There's no way that single target Inferno Tower is going to survive with my balloons going slowly look at them they're gonna get taken out by the wizard so i don't even know if we're gonna be able to grab the town hall it looks like it's gonna go down i think hopefully we need to grab that air sweeper it's really bugging me here we go balloons coming in now for the air sweeper hopefully they're gonna take that out dark elixir is still standing i need that dark elixir guys come on minions what are you doing there goes one minion onto the dark elixir storage in the town hall and then the grand warden's behind him backing him up oh the poor little minion just got slaughtered it looks like we're going, we're walking away with a one star. That's only like three trophies. That's crazy low. But we have got the Dark Elixir, so that's okay. And the Town Hall, no, that's not going to go. So let's just end up there, guys. No point waiting around. 2600 plus 1800. So we're walking away with about 4000 more Dark Elixir. And that means I can actually change my army now. So let's do that. We're going to go to this army here. It's Valkyries, Bowlers, and a few other troops. And it's a lot more fun than the standard actual uh, air army we've been using. But let's just go in for one more attack, guys. Let's just, you know, get ourselves some more trophies here. Let's see if we can find something with a bigger loot offer and uh, a bigger trophy offer also, actually. We've got so many gems now, and I'm going to be a bit silly and, you know, spend those gems on the actual gemming of the troops. Let's see, though, guys, if we can actually find another decent trophy offer. Damn, not a great trophy offer, but the amount of loot inside of it, not bad at all. It's a Champions 2 player. And I'm liking the look of this base. It looks pretty cool. I'm actually pretty damn excited. Let's do it. Let's see if we can tear this base into pieces. So, Eagle Artillery and those buildings look kind of scary. In fact, this entire base looks kind of scary. I'm not really sure what to do with it. I'm praying that there's not going to be a clan castle. Okay, let's try and think of a strategy to take this base on. I could actually do something completely different that I ever do. And we could just pretty much... Let's do something different. I'm going to try a different strategy this time. I'm actually going to try and do something which I never do. So let's do it. It'll be fun. Oh, I just dropped in too many balloons. That was a complete accident. Did not mean to drop in five balloons. Just completely wasted them, but it's okay. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Here we go. There goes another balloon onto the uh, Grand Warden statue, and it's gone. Boom. Okay, so let's do this. One air sweeper's facing down, the other's facing the opposite way. So what we're going to do, we're going to come in from the side where it's facing down with the majority of the balloons. And the minions are going to come in just behind, and then the rest of the balloons are going to go over there. Let's see if we can do this, guys. There goes a clone spell and a rage spell, and of course the Grand Warden's ability, making sure that my baby balloons get protected. So hopefully they're going to swing in on these Inferno Towers. That is the plan. Tony is the man with a plan. Here we go. They're going to go straight in on that Inferno Tower, just as I predicted, guys. Now, this is only a two-star attack, probably. We do need to take out that single target on the left-hand side if I want that Town Hall. And it's about to go down. Here we go. Minions on the Town Hall. You know what? We could actually do a bit more damage than I actually first thought about. So, what we could do here... Let's actually... We've got the Town Hall, haven't we? Yes, we have. Let's do this, guys. Giants. King, Queen. 
and the wizards. And then there go the wall breakers, just because we have them. 46%, hopefully it's going to be somewhere around the region of 70%, because I would like a 100% loot bonus, but the wall breakers didn't get through because they suck, just like usual. There goes the enemy archer queen though. My archer queen going to swing in, take out that wizard tower. Once that wizard tower goes down, I think she's got free range on that elixir storage on the left hand side. Barbarian king has swung into the base. That's why I love you, King. That's why I love you. Here we go. Archer Queen's going to swing over towards that Elixir storage, and that's going to go down. I said I wanted 70%, guys. We're closing in. 68, 69. Come on, Queen. You can do it. There we go. 71%. I'm happy with that. More than happy. And uh, we're going to win that there, guys. Picking up another eight trophies plus a great amount of loot. And check this out. Two hours and 35 minutes time. The four time star bonus actually starts and Tony is going to be rich and you guys are going to be rich too. So trophies currently sitting at 4134. You know what? Let's do one last live attack guys. Let's do this. Let's actually have a little bit of fun. Let's gem up this uh, this ground army that I wanted to use and we can actually make another one there because we got a little bit of dark elixir. Going to gem the grand warden. Got to set him back to ground. Barbarian king's going to be 39 gems. Queen's going to be 40 and we have my friends and other army ready to go. 4,134 trophies. We're going to be at Legends League within 24 to 48 hours. It just depends if I have time to play. To be honest with you guys, sitting as a Town Hall 11, I'm so close to maxed out. I can get inside of the Legends League on defense alone. It really isn't that hard these days. I know when the Legends League was actually released about a year ago, it was hard, but now it's just so damn easy to get there. And there's actually probably, I don't know, thousands of people inside of it. So we haven't actually found a decent loot offer or a decent trophy offer. This one's got a little bit of, uh, of trophies available, but not really great, guys. Looking for something along... Okay, here we go. I'm happy. We'll do this. We will take on this base. Oh, I just remembered we've got a different army this time. Let's do it. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. So we're going to start this off here. Queen's going to go in over there. Gonna drop a bowler just there to make sure I can grab that Dark Elixir drill just in case we completely mess up the raid and it doesn't end up being a three star. I wanna make sure I get as much of this Dark Elixir as possible, although there's not that much actually available in the base altogether, but we still wanna grab it all. So here we go. I'm not actually gonna use any wall breakers because the queen could die. Let's use wall breakers here. Let's see if we can break open that wall. Yes, we have. Okay, so this is looking okay. Gonna drop down a rage spell there just to get the queen moving. And the Barbarian King is gonna go there. Two bowlers, two wizards to make a little bit of a funnel, and a Valkyrie just because we can. And then the bowlers and the rest of the actual army is gonna go into the core. Here we go. Queen's been targeted by the single target. And that's not good. So there goes the Grand Warden's ability. There goes another rage spell. There goes the Queen's ability. I had to use that there, guys, unfortunately. And now the Valkyrie is gonna jump into the core of this base. Should actually take out pretty much most of the base on the inside. There goes some wall breakers. There goes the king's ability. Where's the Valkyries at? Valkyries. Call in all Valkyries. Can't see them. They're over on the right hand side there guys. Gonna drop down the final rage spell into the core. I don't think this really went to plan. I'm not gonna lie. I think I kind of messed this up. But you know what? It doesn't matter guys. Here we go. We still got the queen. Pretty much the hero is still a max HP. And uh, it's definitely a three star. I mean there's no way this dude's base is gonna be able to stop. Maxed out pretty much Barbarian, King, Queen, and a Grand Warden. Plenty of healers still in there. And in fact, we've actually got some Valkyries alive on the right-hand side. I thought they all died, but they managed to survive. Maxed out Valkyries, maxed out troops, of course. And it is a triple star picking me up another 12 trophies. So we're going to end this video here, guys. Stay tuned for the next one coming in a couple of hours' time. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Sorry I had to whisper a little bit, guys. It is currently 5 a.m. I will see you shortly. Peace out.